Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. I am MD, Doctor of Medicine in Ayurvedic Medicine, that is Kaya Chikitsa, and MD in Ayurvedic Physiology, that is Kriya Sharir. Today's topic is again related with Rasa Shastra Bhaishajya Kalpana subject of second year BAMS students. Panchavidha Kashaya Kalpana. These are very preliminary type of the Ayurvedic manufacturing processes that can be used as a home remedy. So we will discuss in a very, very short manner and also rapidly as a rapid revision. For communication, for suggestion, for any queries, you can WhatsApp me on 9226810630. So let us talk about these five, panch, pancha means five. Vidha, Kashaya, Kalpana, these are the Ayurvedic manufacturing processes which are very useful for your home remedy, Swaras. And this is also the base. Uh, I am sorry to say, but this is not only home remedies, but these formulations, these manufacturing processes are further used for the advanced manufacturing processes that we will see which uh, products can be manufactured from Swaras by using the Kalk. Swaras is nothing but a fresh juice. Kalk is like a, a, a pest. Kalk is nothing but the pest. Kwath is a decoction. Him is always cold, cold infusion. And Fant is a hot infusion. Okay. Swaras, fresh juice. Kalk, pest of the herb. Kwath, decoction, like you prepare the tea, regular tea. Okay. Him, chai bolte marat hindi me marat hime. Him, cold infusion. And Fant is a, uh, this is cold and this is hot infusion. Okay. Panchavidha Kashaya Kalpana, we will discuss about name, drug and water proportion, dose, upakalpana, kalpanas and examples. So, first is a swaras, expressed a juice, kalka is a pest, can you see the instruments, kwath is a decoction, hema is a cold infusion and fant is a hot infusion. Now, in swaras, we use the medicine, one part and water, four part. Okay, the dose is one half pal. Then uh, here you can see the upakalpanas are not mentioned, but modified doses form of kalpanas are asavas. In preparing the asava, we have we are using the fermentation of swarasa for nearly six months in watertight compartments. Then you can use uh, for preparing the syrup, you have to use the swarasa and adding sugar, you can prepare the syrup. Avaleya is like a jam. For preparing the jam, you have to first prepare the swaras of some herbs and then you uh, make it in a jam form. So basically in home remedies, you can use Tulsi Swaras. Uh, Nimba Swaras. Tulsi Swaras is best for the cold and cough and fever. Flu, uh, etc. It is get reduced. Uh, upper respiratory tract infection. Uh, Tulsi Swaras is the best medicine. Nimba Swaras is a blood purifier and can be used whenever there is a infected wounds or septicemic conditions in the body. Ardhraka Swaras is best for um, making your metabolic process and digestion best uh, uh, status. Guruchi Swaras is immunomodulator. This is the best medicine to boost up your immunity, especially pandemic like Corona or any swine flu. Okay. Kalka Pest, the water is taken as per necessary. As per necessary. Okay. Then the dose is one Akarsha. Uh, nearly about 10 20 gram churna kalpana when you prepare the chin in any churna you have to first sometimes you have to prepare the kalk paste of that herb then modified doses form of kalpana from uh, kalka you modify it into the vati and guti and varti vati guti are like a tablet small tablet and the big tablets then uh, in the home remedy you can use the nimba kalka again as anti infective or uh, blood purifier Rasona kalka to stimulate your digestive fire whenever there is anorexia, but rasona garlic is very, very hot, remember. So no for no for peptic ulcer, no for gastritis, no for pitta dominant conditions, no bleeding condition. But rasona garlic is the best medicine for indigestion and it is also best for the cardiac uh, type of the problem. Heart problem, garlic is the best. But there must be kapha predominance. Pippali Kalka is again upper respiratory tract infection and indigestion. Shunti Kalka is again the same uh, upper respiratory tract infection and indigestion problems. Kwatha decoction for the soft drug, uh, you have to add only four part of water, but medium type of the drug, you have to use the eight part of the water 
and if the medicine herb is very very hard uh, in consistency then more water is required to make uh, its squath or taking the extract of water uh, 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 dissolvable jo extracts jo rehte hain wo nikalne ke liye aapko zyada pani dalna padega you have to add more water when the substance herb is more hard in consistency one a pala is a uh, actually the dose it's around uh, 30 uh, or 250 ml i can say then upakalpana is pramathya paniya ushnodak kshirapa kshirapa is concept is very well used in the uh, cardiac problem for example i used to give the arjuna kshirapa to my patients arjuna kshirapa so that actually decoction is made in the uh, milk so arjuna kshirapa is very famous then laksha rasa and mausa rasa okay then modified doses uh, uh, for preparing the arishtas uh, asava asavas are prepared from swarasa and arishtas are prepared from the kwad this is the difference in asava and arishta so this is more stronger so for the pitta dominant people better way use the asava for kapha dominant you can use the arishtas also dominant people also diseases for the pitta dominant diseases asavas are better for kapha dominant diseases arishtas are better avaleha is again jam and ghanakriya is also prepared whenever you want to prepare there are many ghanavatis are available nowadays in the market because uh, yeah, these all the panchavidya kashaya kalpana are little bit difficult uh, to implement in the medical practice because many people are having the fast life so in the fast life they don't uh, go for these particular things they advise there are now available as a ready made package to prepare this decoction or the kwatha but uh, i also use this particular ghanakriya ghanavati tablets uh, like for example jeshtamad uh, ghanavati arjun ghanavati nimba ghanavati uh, uh, punarnavashtak for example punarnavashtak punarnavashtak bath but i can use the punarnava ghanavati which has again the base of kwath okay maha sudarshana kwath uh, maharasna i am sorry maharasna ji kwath then trifala kwath and dashamula kwath maharasna ji kwath and dashamula kwath are very Uh, popular medicines to treat the arthritic problems or rheumatic problems and trifala kwath is again digestant and also good for making the noise tools okay hema is a cold infusion you have to take the herbs and uh, add the six part of the water then tupala uh, is a condition like for 50 ml then udakka kalpana mantha kalpana and panaka kalpana is upakalpanas of hema this is always asked in the examination what are the upakalpanas of hema what are the upakalpanas of kwath what are the upakalpanas of fant so you must remember this particular column very nicely okay then sharbat is a modified form and vasa hema vasa is adulsa it is the best uh, styptic medicine which can stop the bleeding so especially hemoptysis patient whenever the tuberculosis is there cavity is there and the patient is getting the blood in the sputum vasa hema best medicine dhanyaka hema is a typical medicine for burning micturition or the hematuria uh, so dysuria is there jala ami marali te unhari lagne manto kiwa whenever there is a urethritis problem the you must give the dhanya ka hema or the bleeding disorders in the ladies patient dhanya ka hema is the best coriander bolte hain usko sarivad hema is also very coolant it can cool your body like especially menopause woman is there hot flushes are there sarivad hema is the best then marichadi hema is opposite marichadi is ushna so it is best for indigestion problem okay now pant is hot infusion one part medicine herbs and four part of water two pala again the same type of the doses are here like 30 to 50 ml uh, upakalpana is arka kalpana and mantha kalpana and modified doses is arka uh, and the examples are the sudarshana pant for the fever patient panchakola pant for the indigestion patient gambhari pant and ushira pant ushira is a cooling herb a pitta gna dravya huh? so whenever there is a hemop uh, bleeding anywhere you can use the ushira okay so uh, this is all about the panchavidya kashaya kalpana i hope you have liked this so if anybody of you are having the health problem and uh, you want to paid online consultation or private bms paid tuition classes you can whatsapp me on 9226810630 and also i will request you to like this video subscribe uh, my youtube channel ayurveda academy and don't forget to press the bell button icon to get the intimation of the new videos i wish all the best take care and bye bye